森知事はぜひ来てください。南町から来た We do not believe that it is treated. We believe that the Tokyo Police will be able to do the right and transparent. We believe that the Tokyo Police will be able to do the right and transparent. The result of what they tell me is that each tank is quite different. Haruo Ono is busy on his boat. He's a fisherman born and bred in Fukushima. He first went out to sea at the age of 15, and fishing has been his livelihood ever since. The waters of Japan's Pacific East Coast are rich in marine life, the source of some 200 varieties of fish and shellfish. In the past, Haruo Ono would go out on his boat on 300 days of the year, but now he's restricted to no more than 120 days. Tsurishihama is a major fishing port in northeastern Japan. 50 kilometers to the south is the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Twelve years ago, on the afternoon of March the 11th, 2011, a magnitude 9 earthquake struck off Japan's northeastern coast. It triggered an enormous tsunami, which inflicted catastrophic damage on Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures. あの時は本当あいつだったよ。うちは壊れっかと思ったし、この後から俺大津波警報って入ったのは弟は遅くででであの何かあのエンジントラブルで持っていなくなったんですよ。津波に飲まれて船と弟は。で発見できなかったんです
On April 15th, 2021, Harry Roque, spokesperson for the President of the Philippines, addressed the issue at a press conference. First principle is that we are one ecosystem. Second principle is that uh, we are interconnected. And the third principle is that the polluter must pay. On the same day, a panel of UN human rights experts expressed deep regret at Japan's decision. They said that releasing contaminated wastewater from the damaged Fukushima nuclear plant into the ocean could impact millions of lives and livelihoods in the Pacific region. Despite all the opposition, the Japanese government on January the 13th announced that it would go ahead and start releasing the contaminated wastewater into the sea sometime during the spring or summer 2023, a process that could last up to 30 years. By February 2023, an estimated 1.32 million tonnes of contaminated wastewater was being stored at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, enough to fill 500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Moreover, the plant was still contaminating wastewater at a rate of 140 tonnes every day. Fishermen like Haruo Ono aren't alone in being worried by the Japanese government's decision to release contaminated wastewater into the sea. Their concerns extend across the whole of the local fishing industry. で、Twelve years ago, Ohama Fish Market was destroyed in the tsunami. A new premises has been built on the site. It's not the outflow of the water itself that concerns people, but the radioactive substances in it. So widespread concern has focused on how the contaminated wastewater is treated and its safety. In order to meet the regulatory standards for discharge, Tokyo Electric Power employs an advanced liquid processing system to treat the contaminated wastewater. Although the company claims that the system eliminates most of the radioactive isotopes in the wastewater, it accepts that the radioactive tritium is not removed. Instead, it has promised to reduce the concentration of tritium to one fortieth of that permitted under the government's safety standards. However, Tokyo Electric Power stands accused of falsifying data and concealing safety issues at the Fukushima plant, and this casts serious doubt on the safety of the treated water discharged into the sea. Hideyuki Ban explains that the radioactivity and tritium can harm organisms' DNA with long term concentration increasing the severity of the damage. Hideyuki Ban 
です例えばストロン注文が出ていきますでそういったもののその評価というのが全くされてなくてなんかトリチウムだけが問題であるようにあえてこうミスリードするようなあやり方をしている、えー、トリチウムの生体濃縮についてはあるいは生物濃縮についてはいくつかの論文があると。Basically, if you look at tank by tank, I did this a couple of years ago looking at their data, not mine, but I believe the results. But what they tell me is that each tank is quite different. So one might be very high in tritium but low in cesium, or low in cesium and high in strontium 90. And so there's a lot of variability. And why that concerns me is if you haven't analyzed all of the tanks, and what you show me are levels that Can be a thousand, a hundred thousand times different between tanks. How do you know what you have that's going in the ocean to plan for? Like, how much do you have to dilute this? How long will it take? Ken b u s e l a is an oceanographer at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in the United States. Over the past decade, he and several colleagues have paid regular visits to Fukushima to investigate the contamination of the seawater around the Daiichi nuclear power plant. Woods Hole, based on the US Atlantic coast, is the world's largest private, non profit marine engineering education and research institution. b u s e l a s focus is on the radioactive substances other than tritium contained in the wastewater. They analyze Tens of thousands of seafood samples a year, say, for the monitoring program. This is only 1,000 tanks. <clears throat> There are something like 50 main forms of radioactivity isotopes of concern. Often they're just looking at seven or eight, they're not doing the full suite. But it remains to be seen how the contaminated wastewater will spread after being released into the sea, and to what extent it will impact the surrounding countries and even the entire Pacific region. The Geomar Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research, based in Kiel, Germany, is the world's leading institution in marine research. It conducted a simulation experiment on the discharge of radioactive substances. The results showed that the powerful currents along the coast of Fukushima could spread radioactive materials to most of the Pacific Ocean within 57 days from the date of discharge. The US and Canada. Would be affected in three years and most of the world's oceans within a decade. Oceanographers are also concerned about radionuclides accumulating in the cells of some organisms. In 2021, Professor Wang Yu at the College of Marine Life Sciences of Ocean University of China and her team carried out a simulation experiment to see how cesium, a typical nuclide, would impact marine life. Their aim was to verify if the Japanese government was being honest in stating that the diluted wastewater released into the sea would not impact the marine environment and the organisms in it. The Yellow Sea off China's east coast is home to a huge variety of plankton, nekton, and benthos. The marine aquaculture is highly developed, and scallops, oysters, sea cucumbers, and other seafoods are cultivated here. Professor Wong chose as the subject of her experiments m i t t e l l u s edulis, or blue mussels, a sentinel species that can predict environmental changes. This mussel enters the blue zone, it will be in different parts of the body. For example, the blood vessels, for example, the blood vessels, for example, the blood vessels, etc. And as the environment is changing, the blue zone of the blood zone is i n c r e a s i n g It will be more and more e 所以这个呢，我们这项研究表明，就是低浓度的、短时间的这种呃核物质、典型核素，对生物的确是有影响的。So what happens if humans are exposed to the contaminated marine organisms or the contaminated marine environment? 我们是这样说的，就是大鱼吃小鱼，小鱼吃虾米，这是一个食物链的关系。那么，生物海洋生物通过这种吃与被吃的这种关系呢，会结会结成一个复杂的食物链和食物网。那么，其实，在这张链，在这条链或者网的顶端，就是人类。所以，我们在这个吃或者被吃的过程当中，那么这个核素呢，可以通过食物链的层层传递
，最终影响到人类。Japan, as the only country ever subjected to a nuclear attack, is deeply conscious of the dangers of radiation. Yet its government chose unilaterally to release contaminated nuclear wastewater into the sea without the consent of its neighbors. Effectively, this exposed other countries and regions, among them China, Russia, the Republic of Korea, and the Philippines, as well as the Pacific Island nations, to the risk of nuclear contamination. Japan government has decided to release the water from the sea. 这可不是日本一家的私事，而是事关海洋环境和人类健康的大事儿。我们敦促日方以负责任的态度处理好这一问题。The Pacific Islands Forum also holds that the discharge of contaminated wastewater into the sea is not a domestic matter. It has urged Japan to be guided by science and existing data in its actions. In the mid-20th century, the U.S. chose the remote Marshall Islands as a site for its nuclear tests. As a result, the islanders suffered serious health issues and the local ecological environment suffered irreversible damage, leaving vast areas uninhabitable for several decades. In the Republic of Korea, many environmental and citizen groups have also rallied to protest against Japan's decision to release contaminated wastewater from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant into the sea. At dawn, the Bulungan seafood market in Manila comes to life. Fishermen from Manila, Cavite, Batangas, and other parts of the Philippines are arriving with the day's catch. Gilbert Reyes has just sold several kilograms of flatfish he caught in Manila Bay, but he complains that pollution in the fishing grounds has severely reduced the size of his catch compared to 20 years ago. Now, fishermen like Gilbert Reyes have another concern. The discharge of contaminated wastewater from Fukushima into the sea Although Japan is thousands of kilometers away, the Philippines fishermen are conscious that they share the same ocean and the same ecosystem. Kung malaman po lang na mayroon pa lang itatapon sa Pacific Ocean, hindi na yung pagsabog mula sa nuclear plant na mayroon radioactive water, eh baka yung aming mga ating likas na yaman dito sa Manila Bay, eh takot na po kainin ng mga sambay ng Pilipino at mga consumer. Kasi hindi po ito maganda sa epekto ng kalikasan at sa kalusugan ng mga, mga isda, mga yamang dagat at sa kalusugan ng mga tao. The Nuclear Free Bataan Movement is a non-governmental organization in the Philippines. It claims that if Japan goes ahead with dumping the contaminated wastewater into the sea, the marine environment will be severely damaged, resulting in a huge risk to human health. Therefore, Japan would be wrong to arbitrarily dump treated radioactive water into the sea. First, we do not believe that it is treated. Uh, the, the, the term treated is from TEPCO, so they are also the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. And um, in fact, we condemn the TEPCO for failing, you know, for failing to uh, listen to, to the communities uh, in Fukushima and for its uh, shortcoming in addressing the, the problem in, in Fukushima. The organization appealed to Japan to look for other methods of handling the contaminated wastewater instead of the simplest option, which threatens to destroy the oceans. At a United Nations Security Council session on February the 14th, 2023, Russia's Deputy Permanent Representative, Dmitry Chumakov, expressed his country's concern over Japan's plans to dump contaminated wastewater from Fukushima into the sea. Рассчитываем, что Токио проявит должную степень транспарентности и будет информировать о своих действиях, которые могут представлять реальную радиационную угрозу и в случае необходимости позволит провести мониторинг. The Kamchatka Peninsula, Sakhalin and Khabarovsk in Russia's far east all border the Pacific Ocean. 
they are important fishing grounds and popular tourist destinations. Все время идут разговоры о том, что нужна больше открытость, но тем не менее не так много. Есть часть научных работ, но тем не менее не так много. Вот официальных данных не так много. В частности, оценка экологического воздействия приводится только для сухопутной части Японии, потому что это действительно важно для жизни людей. И поэтому она была сделана достаточно тщательно, но тем не менее по морской части нет никакой оценки и непонятно, какое воздействие уже было оказано на бентосами. It will be diluted. So I don't like this idea. So deep and widespread are the concerns about the discharge of contaminated wastewater from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that the International Atomic Energy Agency has intervened. It has sent three teams to Japan to investigate the situation. However, it is yet to reach a conclusion about the safety of Japan's disposal plans. The people from the neighboring countries and the, the public in general it, it has to be fully confident that the agency is working to this independent activity to, to have a neutral and independent position and all conclusions that we are, are, are going to, to summarize will be a, a public with public domain, will be based on the international safety standards. All the stakeholders are unanimous in opposing Japan's decision. But is dumping it into the sea the only viable method of dealing with the contaminated wastewater? Experts suggest that the Japanese government has four other disposal options, namely releasing the wastewater into the atmosphere through evaporation, injecting it deep underground through a pipeline, disposing of it via electrolysis, and solidifying it and burying it underground. Of the five methods, releasing it into the sea is the cheapest. Ivan,因为这个行为是最不负责任的,它是采用了最廉价的一种方法。Japan has taken the unilateral decision to discharge the wastewater into the sea. It costs the least financially, but the cost in terms of damage to the environment, human health and safety is being borne by the whole world. Through its action, Japan is ignoring its obligations under international law and as a contracting party to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Article 192 of the Convention stipulates that states have an obligation to protect and preserve the marine environment. And Item 1 of Article 194 stipulates that states shall take all measures that are necessary to prevent, reduce and control pollution of the marine environment using the best practical means at their disposal and in accordance with their capabilities. 日本动辄也是谈规则的,动辄跟着美国的步伐,谈所谓以规则为基础的秩序,但是很明确的是不管是在排污的问题上,还是在安全、军事、战略等问题上, 当他们这些国家谈规则的时候,所谓的规则只是他们的小团体的加法光帮规,而并不是国际规则。所以在排污的问题上,是再一次展现出的对国际规则的绑架所带来的恶果。And so Japan continues its preparations to discharge contaminated wastewater into the sea. The equipment needed for the operation was activated on March the 17th. In Fukushima, people feel trapped with no sign of a way out of the desperate situation they find themselves in.
as the date for releasing the contaminated wastewater approaches, the Japanese government continues to face condemnation at home and abroad. But still it is showing no sign that it is prepared to act responsibly and transparently or to seek a better solution to the issue, despite the potential devastation its action threatens to inflict on the common home of all humanity.